welcome to a Belmont Media Center production of Belmont High School Football. My name's Aram Parnagian, I'm joined by Ben Chelnitsky, and we'd like to welcome you to a Belmont High School football game between your Belmont Marauders and the, Belmont and the Cambridge, Rhine, and Latin Falcons. Belmont looking to, come to bounce back after a tough loss against Shawshin Tech, where they lost 48-0 to in a game where everything that could go wrong went wrong. And Cambridge is coming off of a victory against Saugus last week, 21-14. to yeah, Belmont team did last week have a couple of big injuries. Let's see how they adjust to the situation. As now we are waiting for the coin toss. As Cambridge has won the toss and has decided to defer to the second half. And one key factor we like to talk about is the weather. It's very windy, it's very cold. It could play a big factor in the kicking game and special teams today. Last year, Belmont played against Cambridge Ringe and Latin, and they won 40 to 13. Let's hope this happens again. Belmont is currently on a three-game win streak against them, hoping to continue that today. Cambridge's record last year was six wins and five losses. And their current record is one and one. They just came back from a win against Saugus last week, 21 to 14. For the Falcons, kicking off number eight, Joseph Zre. Cambridge is ready to kick off and get this game underway. It's going far. Caught by number nine, Casey Regan. Casey Regan breaks a He's, tackle. He, he keeps cuts, going. Cuts to the inside. Cuts in field. He has grass ahead of him. He's at the 45, cuts inside again at the 50. 50 yards. And takes it into Cambridge territory as the Belmont offense is set up with great field position. And out comes the Belmont offense led by Wyatt Sclafani. Wyatt Sclafani, not a quarterback listed on the depth chart as last week's game, both Lucas Cadet and Kyle Curtis were injured, forcing Wyatt Sclafani to step up. Expect a lot of running from Belmont. as Belmont starts on Cambridge's 48-yard line. Casey in motion. Wyatt takes it himself and is stopped for a tackle for loss. One thing Coach Francis talked a lot about after that Shawshin Tech game was the offensive and defensive lines and how they needed to improve. And they're going to be a big part of today's game, especially with Beaumont's lack of a passing attack. Looks like the sophomore, number 23, Patrick McKinnon, is going in for running back. As it's second and 15 on Belmont's 46-yard line. Hand off to McKinnon. Breaks a couple of tackles. Still He's got going. Green ahead of him. He's off to the races, 30, and stopped just outside the 25. Patrick McKinnon showing off the Jets, and Belmont is in Cambridge territory. So far, Belmont's had a great start to their game. One thing there, Patrick, pressure right off the line of scrimmage, able to evade up the sideline. First and 10 on Cambridge's 27 yard line. Empty backfield. Looks like Wyatt's gonna pass. 
Casey takes the jet sweep. Goes and knocked outside. Belmont is inching closer to Cambridge's end zone. Second and two coming up. Belmont inside Cambridge's red zone. Belmont's having a great running game so far. Second and two. McKinnon in the backfield. McKinnon with the handoff. Up through the gap and got a first down. And Belmont right now is just running through Cambridge. They have no answer for him. Cambridge needs to think of a stop to Belmont's running game. First and 10 on Cambridge's 15. Damien in motion, hand off to Patrick McKinnon and he is stopped at the line. Little to no gain. Second and long upcoming. Belmont has yet to attempt a pass. Second and nine. Belmont on Cambridge is 14. Hand off to McKinnon again, and he is blown up behind the backfield. And Belmont, in a third and long scenario, they gotta stay out of these situations today if they want any success. Wyatt getting instructions from Coach Francis. First year head coach, has been on the Belmont staff since 2021. And has had coaching experience with the Waltham High School football team for more than 10 years. Hopefully Belmont can get an early lead. Hike. Another handoff to Patrick McKinnon and stop for little to no gain as it is fourth down. And out comes the kicking unit. Jack Townsend, number 90. He's also a great rugby kicker, so his skills translate to the football pitch. Jack Townsend, rare commodity here, only a kicker and punter. Most high school kickers and punters also play different positions on the field. He does not, he only kicks and punts for the team. As Belmont's drive now ellipsing seven minutes. Fourth and 11 on Cambridge's 16. Looking to be about a 30 yard kick. Kick is up and it is low and no good. And Cambridge is gonna take over on their own 16 yard line. Great drive by Belmont there. They moved the ball down the field, but once they got to the red zone, their offensive line gave Patrick McKinnon the running back no holes and they couldn't get anything done. I agree with you. As this is the first time we'll be seeing Cambridge's offense today. Belmont's waiting for Cambridge's offense to take the field. And out comes the Cambridge offense led by senior Dante Howard, also a captain on the team.
We're seven minutes and 43 seconds left in the first quarter. It's a handoff. Cuts to the offensive line and stopped. By number nine, Casey Regan. As that was number six, Christopher Bonilla Guarva. Second and six upcoming for Belmont, for Cambridge. And one thing Bowen has to patch up from their last game was their defensive line. They were getting absolutely moved around. They have to sure up those holds, make sure there's no open running lanes for Cambridge today. Yep. And number 78, Zach Zadam, also a captain. He's going to be injured and out for this game. As seven minutes left in the first quarter. Cambridge, second and five on their own 25-yard line. Another, Another handoff. Cuts to the offensive line, is in open field. It gets to about his 35-yard line. As Cambridge is starting to move the ball. First and 10 with six and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Running back in motion. QB sneak, takes it himself, and is out, out of bounds, but got a sizable chunk there. As we are approaching the halfway point in this first quarter. As Cambridge is currently moving down the field, up near midfield. Second and three. Cambridge on their own 42 yard line. Another handoff, and he gets the first down and is in Belmont territory. And right now, Cambridge is just running through the Belmont defense. As we are halfway through the first quarter and have yet to see a pass attempt by either team. First and 10 for Cambridge on Belmont's 48 yard line. We have yet to see both quarterbacks throw the ball. So far it's just been a running game. And it is a false start on Cambridge. A little antsy there. And that's going to move them back. Five yards. First and 15 and puts them back on their own side of the field. First and 15 on Belmont's 47 yard line. Cambridge dropped back to pass. It. Over the middle, he had a man but was unable to connect with him. He had his man open, but unable to connect. Second and 15 upcoming. Another pass, screen and unable to connect with them again as it is third and long for Cambridge. So we are just under five minutes left in the first quarter, third and 15 for Cambridge on Belmont's 47 yard line.
Belmont's defense holding up good. And it's a jet sweep. Got some open field and stopped before the line to gain. Got a good chunk of yards there, but Belmont's bend don't break defense stopped them. And it's fourth and short. Cambridge's offense looking to stay out there. Fourth and five on Belmont's 42 yard line. Yep, so far Belmont's defense is not disappointing. Dante Hightower, Howard, getting instructions from his coach, Roy Howard. Staff drop backs to pass, looking, looking, looking. defensive line gets to him and throws it away. And Belmont gets the fourth down stop. And Belmont's gonna take over near midfield with 3.34 left in the game. Impressive stop by Belmont's defense. Though there looks to be a player slow to get up, Casey Regan, the junior. He did have an interception in the early part of the game last week. Excuse me, it was wide Sclafani was down, but he's up now. Belmont first and 10 on their own 44 yard line. And off to Patrick McKinnon and plows ahead for a couple. Big hole created by the offensive line. Second and seven for Belmont. On their own 46 yard line. With about three minutes left in this first quarter. Second and seven, this game will really be a big battle between both lines. Casey Regan in motion. Handoff to Amir. Oh. Puts a man in the ground still and is going. still going. And gets to Cambridge's 40 yard line. He was dragging men with him and Belmont moving the chains. First and 10 with under three minutes left in the first quarter. They're on Cambridge's 40 yard line, sir. Looking to go up tempo here. Hand off to Amir again. Bounces outside and is stopped behind the line for a tackle for loss. Second and 15 for Belmont. And these are the scenarios they want to stay out of here, especially with the lack of a passing attack right now. There's just over two minutes left in this first quarter. That has been, it has been a running slugfest so far. Another handoff. Patrick McKinnon, and again, stopped behind the line. I think Cambridge just started to see a pattern here, Belmont, all runs. Maybe it's time for Coach Francis to switch it up, as it is third and 12. Third and 14, excuse me, on Cambridge's 42 yard line. Yeah, Cambridge definitely already adjusted to their defense.
Weisskwein drops back to pass. Pressure rolls out the pocket. He's going to take it himself oh. and gets blown up. And it is now fourth down. And out comes the punting unit. So we are just moving to under a minute in this first quarter. Fourth and 14 on, Belt, on Cambridge's own 44. And last week, punting the punt unit, the special teams, was a big issue, especially in the first quarter. Back to back, punt returns allowed to Shawshin Tech. Hopefully they can share that up this game. His back is Jack Townsend. Has a big leg, hopefully he can show it off. And a bit of a low kick there with an awkward spin. And Belmont is going to down it inside Cambridge's 20 yard line as we are nearing the end of this first quarter. First and 10 for Cambridge on their own 19 yard line. So far there was a lot of action but both teams yet to score a point. Cambridge hoping they can be able to move down the field like they did last drive. Yeah, so far Christopher Guevara has been having a great running game on the Falcons. QB take up the middle. He's still going. He's got some room. He's off to the races. He's at the 50. 45 and pushed out just before the 35 yard line. And that is something Belmont cannot allow. The big running game. Big run there. And just like that, Cambridge is on Belmont's side of the field and just near their 35 yard line. Seven seconds left in this first quarter, first and 10. Cambridge now going up tempo. Handoff and Belmont stiffed that out and it is a tackle for loss. And that concludes the first quarter. We thank you for joining us on the Belmont Media Center for a production of Belmont High School Football. If you're just joining us so far, it has been a heavy run game. Both offensive lines have been dominating. Both teams have been able to move down the field but unable to get points. as both teams switch sides of the field. And this game is a Morgan's Message dedication game. Morgan's message strives to eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health within the student athlete community and equalize the treatment of physical and mental health in athletics. We aim to expand the di dialogue on mental health by normalizing conversations, empowering those who suffer in silence and support those who feel alone. Great message. And Belmont's defense, which has been strong up to this point, showing some cracks here. I'm really hoping Belmont can bounce back from a tough loss last week. Both team flip sides of the field and get ready to start the second quarter. Second and 10 upcoming for Cambridge on Belmont's 35 yard line. Drop back, rolls out of the pocket, looking downfield and is forced to throw it away. Like 
as it is third and 10 for Cambridge here. Third and 10 for Cambridge here. And it's a handoff and is stopped for a minimal gain as it is fourth down. Fourth and six upcoming. And Cambridge is looking to go for it again. Coach Roy Howard is playing very aggressive. Fourth and six, Cambridge on Belmont's 32 yard line. So we just started the second quarter. And another false start. Penalties really hurting Cambridge in these big moments. And really helping Belmont. As that fourth and manageable has become a fourth and 11. This fourth and 11 certainly gonna have to force Cambridge to pass here. Oh, and a QB punt. Don't see that every day. As it bounces, and it's downed by Cambridge inside Belmont's 15. Don't see that every day, QB punt. As there's about 10, 10 minutes left in the second quarter, quarter, Belmont takes over, first and 10 inside their own 15. And so far, the Beaumont offense, a lot better than last week. The running game, very efficient. They've been moving the ball down the field, offensive line, creating holes, everything you want to see here. Yeah, both teams are kind of matched up right now. Beaumont a bit predictable, though. Regan in motion, handoff to Amir. Bounces it outside. He's still going. Going down the sideline, and big gain there, up around Beaumont 40. Showing off the speed. Last week, number five, Amir on Belmont, did also have some big highlights. First and 10 for Belmont on their own 33 here. Empty backfield. Casey Regan in motion. Takes the jet sweep. Cuts inside and is tackled for a minimal gain there. Cambridge was all over that one. Second and six for Belmont. Just under 10 minutes left of the second quarter. Oh, 
Second and six on their own 37. Hand off Patrick McKinnon. And he and gets stopped. stopped at the line of scrimmage. Third and six upcoming. Belmont not having too much success running up the middle today. Most of their big runs have come when they bounced it outside. Third and five for Belmont. Yeah, I think Belmont should really try to throw the ball here as Cambridge's defense is not really adjusted to the throwing game. And time out Belmont with 8.21 left in the second quarter. And so far this game, both teams have been able to run the ball efficiently. Both offensive lines have been moving the defense, creating holes, creating opportunities. Belmont gets right to Cambridge's red zone, then they just become stagnant, they get stopped. Just under 30 seconds left of the second quarter. About eight minutes left in the second quarter here. This timeout is winding down here. Belmont left with a tough choice here. Do they run the ball, which has been somewhat reliable today, or do they try to throw it with an inexperienced quarterback? Big decision here. Just about 8.20 left in the second quarter here. Fakes the handoff wide, takes it himself. Doesn't have the angle as it is fourth down. Ran it to the short side of the field. Didn't have the angle there and was stopped. And out comes the punting unit. Promising big run by Amir there, but Bowen unable to capitalize. This is fourth and four. Belmont now hoping that Jack Townsend can show off his big leg. And it's a low driving kick. Takes a bit of a friendly bounce for Belmont and they down it inside of Cambridge's 29 yard line. As Cambridge takes over with about seven minutes left in the second quarter. First and 10 for them. And you gotta give it up to Belmont secondary here. The few times that Cambridge has thrown the ball, they have been locked down. Yeah, I agree with you there. Cambridge quarterback 0 for 2 so far. So we've had a total of two pass attempts in this game. First and 10.
It's a handoff. Has a bit of a hole, but is covered up quickly. Tackle made by number 10, Thomas Dolan, a captain. Second and nine for Cambridge on their own 31 yard line. As we are starting to approach the halfway point in the second quarter. Another improvement from last week, Ben, was their defensive line. Really starting to clamp up. They've had, Cambridge had a few big runs, but mostly they were able to cover up those holes. Yeah, both teams need to stay a bit more consistent throughout the duration of their drives if they really want to put some points on the board. Drops back to pass. He's looking to pass it. Over the middle of the field in Incomplete. the receiver's hands. Unable to connect there. Had his man wide open over the field, unable to connect again, as it is third and nine. Very windy out here today, very chilly. Very chilly for a summer evening, late summer. As it is third and nine for Cambridge. Running back in motion. Quarterback rolls outside of the pocket. Looking, looking. Deep and out of bounds. And the coverage there, very good for Belmont as it is fourth and nine and Cambridge is forced to punt. As it is their first punt of the day. Number Belmont here looking for a good return, put themselves in good field position. Casey Regan looking to return it. Bit of a high snap. Casey Fair catches it. Belmont sets up with all right field position at their own 39 yard line. You gotta give it up for Wyatt Scalfani. Isn't a quarterback, usually plays wide receiver, but stepped into this role when the team needed him, and he's doing all right so far. Yep, you gotta give it to him. First and 10 for Belmont on their own 38 yard line. Casey Regan in motion. Hand Takes a jet to sweep to Amir. Plows through a few guys, but is stopped for a minimal gain. Second and nine for Belmont on their own 39-yard line. So we are about five minutes and 30, five minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter here. Either team has yet to put up points. Game really taking place in the middle of the field so far. Wyatt rolls outside of the pocket. Cambridge brings pressure. Looking for 84, Ryan O'Byrne, but left him a little high as it is third and nine. And right there, Wyatt, when he's rolled out, Cambridge has brought the pressure. And these design rollouts are usually to the short side of the field as it is third and nine for Belmont on their own 39 yard line. Ball most certainly looking to pass here. Yeah, Belmont's O-line's looking pretty promising today. Yeah. 
Wyatt rolls out. And the pressure gets to him. He breaks a couple of tackles and is brought down. He's able to turn towards the middle of the field. But fortunately, another guy came. And Belmont forced a punt. And most of Belmont's punts today have been low line drives. Hopefully they can get a friendly bounce and put Cambridge deep in their own territory. Yep. As we have just under four minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Still scoreless here. Clean snap. High punt. And Cambridge is going to let it bounce. Good field flipping punt by Jack Townsend. And Cambridge is going to start inside their own 30 yard line here. Just under four minutes left in the second quarter. First and 10 for Cambridge in their own 27 yard line. Just under four minutes left. Out comes this Cambridge offense. First and 10 on their own 30 yard line, correction there. Fakes the handoff. Wide receiver, wide receiver bubble screen there and is blown up at the oh. line. What a great job by Belmont's defense. You see as this game's moving on, these coaches here are starting to open up their playbook a little, little more, putting more faith in their quarterback. Start of the game, there was zero pass attempts. Now they're starting to, little by little, starting to pass the ball more and more here. Yeah, they're really starting to pick it up. Second and 10 for Cambridge on their own 30 yard line. Second and 11 for Cambridge on their own 29 yard line. Wide receiver in motion, quarterback takes it himself, had a bit of a hole. But Belmont didn't let him get any more. We just have under three minutes left in the second quarter. Third and six for the Cambridge Falcons here on their own 34 yard line. It's Cambridge here just letting the time tick away. Cambridge in the huddle. And a timeout for Cambridge. Right there, you're questioning what coach is doing there. Three minutes left on the clock when after the end of that second down, and now there's only two minutes left. Why not just call the timeout earlier? Yeah, I agree with you there. Right here, Belmont's defense starting to stiffen up. Beginning of the game, they're letting some big runs go through. Now, all of a sudden, they're like a stone wall. As each team has used a timeout in this first quarter.
as out comes the Cambridge offense here. Third and six. Just about two minutes left in the second quarter. On their own 34 yard line. Certainly think they're gonna pass here. Especially with Belmont's defensive line stepping it up recently. By receiver in motion. Jet sweep and he drops the ball. As Belmont recovers the fumble in prime field position. Quarterback with a little underhand toss to the wide receiver and just fumbles it. Looks like it hit off his knee here. Looks like it hit off his knee and then just couldn't get to it. As it is first and 10 for Belmont inside of Cambridge's 30 yard line. You certainly hope they can get points here, especially as they are hard to come by in this game. Yeah, Belmont's really close to getting their first touchdown of the season. Number 72, Michael Grant going in for Belmont on the O-line. Looks like he's subbing in for number 75, Will Lockwood. Currently being checked out by the medical staff. First and 10 for Belmont on Cambridge's 30 yard line. Two minutes left in the second quarter. And it looks uh, like Coach Roy Howard is having some words with the officials right now, upset about the call. And it is another timeout called by Cambridge here. Coach Roy Howard was very upset having a talk with the officials right now. This is a big point in this game. I'd like to say that number 77 on Belmont, Seamus Murphy, has had a very strong game in the front line, making some big tackles and good blocks. Whole offensive line creating holes giving Wyatt some time whenever they have the design QB sneaks. Really stepped it up from last week. This timeout is winding down. Out comes the Belmont offense. And a flag. Looks like unsportsmanlike conduct on the coach, who's there still mouthing off to the refs there during that timeout, and he's gonna be punished for it. Unsportsmanlike penalty there, Coach Roy Howard. And as if things couldn't get any better for Belmont, now they set up inside Cambridge's red zone, a 15 yard penalty. Very costly here for Cambridge. Yeah, Belmont's crowd is getting loud here. First really and 10, flag thrown on the play and it is blown dead. Though Wyatt Sclafani completed his first pass there to Billy Hendri Hendrickson. False start on Belmont. Now it is first down and 15. First and 15 for Belmont on their own 20 yard line. Coach Francis Joseph there. You're giving Wyatt Scofani the right to throw the ball there. It was really, very really accurate, very good throw. One fifty-six left in the second quarter. First and 15.
Wyatt looks back to throw again, and oh, in the hands of Casey Regan, unable to control the ball. Hit him right in the numbers. And second and 15 coming up for Belmont. Need to have that pass there. Yep, number three, Wyatt Sclafani is doing a great job stepping up as the backup quarterback. One fifty-three left in the second quarter. Second and fifteen upcoming for Belmont. Casey in motion again. Wyatt looks to step back to throw. It's caught. Wide receiver screen for Amir. Trucks a man and gets to the original line of scrimmage and then some. As now it is third and about seven for Belmont. Third and seven for Belmont. That was a very strong carry by Amir. Third and seven on Cambridge's 11. Belmont looking for touchdown. Belmont looking for the end zone there. Time is winding down. Just about under a minute left in this second quarter. Cambridge's defense is starting to fall apart as Belmont is inching closer and closer to their end zone. Wyatt rolls out. Rolling, rolling in. Oh! oh. Sacked! He takes a big hit there. Looks like that man was not blocked by the offensive line. And Wyatt takes a massive hit. And a massive hit for Belmont's chances here. And it is a Time out for Belmont. Just about under 30 seconds left in the second quarter. What was a very promising opportunity to score points. Looks like it's shriveled up in flames. Here's the question. Do you put Jack Townsend out there to kick a field goal? Or do you go for it on fourth down? I think Belmont should really go for it. They're very close. And they could put up the first points of the game. Out comes the offense, and looks like Coach Francis Joseph here putting his faith in the senior. Jack Townsend, a first-year football player. This is his first year on the team here. This looks to be a, about a 39-yard kick here. Kyle Curtis set up on the 29-yard line. Snap, hold, and it is blocked. A very low kick, and it is blocked by Cambridge. Cambridge gonna... covers. And another missed opportunity for Belmont. Kick had no chance, it was a very low kick. And Cambridge is gonna take over in their own territory. Just about 18 seconds in the second quarter. Ball set up on Cambridge's 25 yard line. Most likely gonna kneel it out and head to the second half. I think that the strong wins today could be a big factor in the kicks. Timeout for Belmont. Belmont uses their final timeout here. <laughs> 45 second timeout. And you gotta like what you're seeing from the Belmont offense here. Moving the ball, has now started to develop a little bit of a pass attack here with Wyatt Sclafani. Really hoping for a big second half and also from the defense. 
Ben don't break. Very few big plays. Sniffing out everything Cambridge is throwing at them. What you like to see? Yeah, they're really stepping up from last week. This final timeout's winding down. First and 10 for Cambridge on their own 24-yard line. Number six, Andre Shavushian comes in as cornerback on Belmont. Looking to pass. It's going He's deep. He's a deep. Has a man wide open. Looks like that was number seven there. For 19 yards. Jamie Lewis, the sophomore. Though heads up defense by Patrick McKinnon there. Trying to keep him up, trying to keep him inbounds. Forcing Cambridge to use one of their timeouts. We did see during warmups that Cambridge's quarterback was consistently throwing at 40 yards. It's first and 10 for Cambridge on their own 43 yard line. Cambridge's final timeout of their first half. That was their second timeout of the, sec of the second half. Oh yeah. So Cambridge is certainly looking deep here. Seven seconds left. This timeout is winding down. Seven seconds here, empty backfield for Cambridge. Looking Hail Mary here. First in town, their own 44. 44 yard line. Drops back. He's looking to throw it. Belmont brings a four man pressure. Rolls out. Time winding down. Still scrambling. Still on his feet. He's inside the field. Still Goes going. past the line of scrimmage and that is gonna end the first half in a scoreless game between the Belmont Marauders and the Cambridge Falcons. So we'd like to turn it over to the Belmont Marching Band for this halftime and entertainment.
and a wonderful performance by the Belmont Color Guard and the Belmont Marching Band. If you're just joining us, my name's Autumn Parnagian. I'm joined by Ben Chelnitsky, and we'd like to welcome you to a Belmont Media Center production of Belmont High School Football in a, in a scoreless game between your Belmont Marauders and the Cambridge Falcons. So far, this game has been a run-heavy fest so far. Both teams, not a lot of passing, very few passing, putting their faith in their offensive line and really just moving the ball down the field. Yeah, I agree with you there, Arm. Old school style of playing football. Both teams are really neck and neck right now. As Cambridge won the toss earlier, elected to defer, so they will receive the kickoff starting the second half. Jack Townsend hope if hopefully can pin him deep here. So far, he's been kicking it well today. Low line drives with some, well, hoping for some friendly bounces. <clears throat> Big boot to the 25. Oh, oh and he, he bumps it. it. Oh, and Belmont recovers it. Belmont really needed that to start off the second half. He was a bit under the ball, hit the tip of the Cambridge player's hands. Looks like it was recovered by Amir. And just like that, Belmont is back in the driver's seat here. And this game really has the feeling that the team, the first team to score seems like it's going to win this game. Seems like a one-score type of game here. As out comes this Belmont offense that started to build momentum towards the end of that first half. Hopefully they can build on that going into the second half. As Belmont starts off first and 10 on their own 27-yard line. Or Cambridge's 27-yard line, excuse me. Regan in motion. Wyatt Sclafani takes it himself and... Scrambling and he gets stopped. Stop behind the line of scrimmage. Second and long upcoming. Second and 12 upcoming for Belmont. Belmont on Cambridge's 31-yard line. Fake jet sweep, handoff to Patrick McKinnon and is stopped again for a gain of none. And so far, Cambridge's defense has come out fiery as it is third and 12 for Belmont. Third and 16 for Belmont. It's about just under a minute and a half has elapsed in this first, in this second half. And a Cambridge player is down and slow to get up. And the player looks like he's able to get up and walk off on his own, encouraging signs.
as it is third and 16 for Belmont. Belmont really needs to stay consistent in this drive if they really want a chance at scoring some points. The clock's running again. Wyatt, Scofani looking to pass, has time and intercepted. intercepted. Bit underthrown there. Looks like the, the flag is thrown. and a flag is thrown. Looks like there's a bit of a scuffle going on. More flags are thrown. Looks like it's all sorted out now. Walking deep for number 84, Ryan O'Burns. Looks like the wind pulled it down there a bit. Cambridge is going to set up inside their own territory. Looks like the refs are now discussing what the flags were. Most likely some unsportsmanlike conduct for that little scuffle that happened at the end of that play. Belmont fans are getting loud right now, cheering on their team. Looks like some unnecessary roughness from both teams. Personal foul on both teams. And it is first down Cambridge here. The Cambridge Falcons, they set up inside their own 20 yard line. First and 10 on their own 18 yard line here. The senior quarterback, Dante Howard, looking to lead their offense. <clears throat> Hand off. Hand off and a flag thrown. Behind the line of scrimmage there. Number 70, Enzo Paso. There, breaks through the line of the offensive line of Cambridge. And it is a face mask call on Enzo, though. So that play is going to be neg ne neglected, negated. And Cambridge is going to move up the field. That looked to be about a 15 yard penalty. <laughs> 10 yard penalty. As first and 10 for Cambridge on their own 28 yard line. Head coach Roy Howard on Cambridge is really trying to formulate a good plan to try to get some points on the board. Running back in motion. Wide receiver Passes screen caught. and still going. Tackle made by number 10, Thomas Dolan. Stopped for a little gain of only two yards. Second and seven coming up for Cambridge here on their own 32 yard line. It's pretty surprising that both teams still haven't scored a single point and it's already the third quarter. Let's go, 
Clean snap. Looking to throw. Going deep. Oh, overthrows his receiver as it is third and seven upcoming for Cambridge. We're about three and a half minutes into this second half. Both offenses are having a bit of a sluggish start to the second half. As it is, temperature has dropped a lot. Very cold here, very windy. Wind has picked up a lot since the start of this game. Third and seven upcoming. Jet sweep. And tackle near the line to gain. See. And the refs are going to call him short. Fourth and short coming up. See what Roy Howard does. Coach Roy Howard does here for Cambridge. And it looks like the offensive unit is going to stay out there. Eight minutes. And now they've awarded the first down to Cambridge. This is about eight minutes left in this third quarter. Cambridge first and 10 set up on their own 40 yard line. Drops back to pass. Dumps it off. Number five is still going. Breaks a couple of tackles and a big gain there for about nine. From Jovins Exil home. You're starting to see Cambridge here starting to veer away from their run game here. Starting to open it up a lot more. Starting to pass it. And they're moving down the field. Chunk by chunk. Yep. Second and second. Second and two coming up. Cambridge on their 48 yard line. And they push forward for the first down. Well, they move the ball back a little. And now it is third and inches coming up for Cambridge here as we are nearing the halfway point of this third quarter. Six minutes, 30 seconds left. Hand off. Oh, QB option. And is able to pick up the first down. Belmont committed everything to the run. QB takes it himself. That was a great trick play by Dante Howard. Great read. First and down, first down for Cambridge. Belmont's 46. So they're chugging along here. Less than six minutes left in this third quarter. QB drops back to pass. It's caught. Able to connect with his running back. And really what Cambridge has been able to do on this drive is to stay out of those second and long, third and long situations, which have been killing them this whole game, killing both teams this whole game. Second and, sec second and two for Cambridge. On Belmont's 39-yard line. Fake jet sweep, oh. QB takes it himself. Right near the line to gain. So there's four minutes and 30 seconds left in this third quarter here. 
Cambridge currently on a time-eating drive. Third and short. Third and inches coming up for Cambridge here. On Belmont's 37-yard line. Cambridge is slowly advancing down the field. And it is a timeout for Cambridge. Trying to get Belmont to jump off sides, unable to here. We have three minutes and 43 seconds left in this third quarter. Right now, Cambridge, they've taken up most of, if not all, this third quarter here. Just running and taking their sweet time going down the field. Belmont has to get a stop. Their defense must be very tired here. And out comes the Cambridge offense here. Third and inches. Heavy formation. QB sneaking. There's a flag, flag on thrown. the play. Looks like it's going to be called on Cambridge. And man, penalties have been hurting them this game. Third time this game, they've been in a third and short situation in Belmont's side of the field. And another false start penalty. And what's gone from a third and in inches to a third and six for Cambridge. And it looked like before the play was blown dead that Cambridge was going to get that on the QB sneak. Now it's third and six for Cambridge on Belmont's 42. Third and six. Looking deep. Has all the time in the pocket. Throws it downfield. Oh. Incomplete. Great coverage there by Amir. Cambridge looking for the end zone. QB Dante High Howard showing off the arm as now it is fourth and six. And a very difficult choice for Coach Roy Howard in this Cambridge offense. And it looks like they're gonna stay out there. But don't forget, earlier this game, they had their quarterback punt the ball. It's always an option. Yeah, we never know what to expect from him. Fourth and six coming up. 3.30 left in this third quarter. Running back in motion. He's looking to throw it deep. Down the field, it's has a man wide open and overthrows him. Beaumont very fortunate there. Left number 15 wide open. And first and 10 for Beaumont. Starting on their own 42 yard line. Ready, ready, ready. 
And there you saw on that drive, Ben, Cambridge started to throw the ball more and more. Both teams have started to open up their passing games a lot since yep. the start of this game. We're both gaining their confidence. Belmont's second drive of the second half after recovering that muffed kickoff. Amir in motion, takes the handoff. And Cambridge's defense A big meets him yards. behind the line of scrimmage here. Second and 15 coming up for Belmont. Feels like they've been in that situation a lot today. So we have just moved under three minutes in this third quarter remaining. Still scoreless here at Harris Field. And it looks like it's a timeout taken by Coach Francis Joseph here. First timeout of the second half. Belmont has been putting up a great fight today. And we thank you for joining us on this Belmont Media Center production of Belmont High School Football here on this chilly September night in a game between your Belmont Marauders and the Cambridge Falcons. If you're just joining us here, it has been a run-heavy game. Both offensive lines have been creating holes for their running backs. Both defenses have bended but have not broken. Beaumont had some opportunities to get some field goals, unfortunately unable to connect as this timeout is winding down. Second and 15 coming up for Belmont here. A little over two minutes left in the third quarter. Stefani an empty backfield. Looking to throw, pressure's getting him, rolls out. Forced to throw it away. As third and long upcoming. Pressure got to him right away, able to evade. Rolls out the pocket, unable to find anyone though. As it is third and long for Belmont. Yeah, why is Sclafani will have to adjust to all the pressure coming at him lately in the second half? Number 27, Damian Lilla comes on for Belmont Marauders. So finally looking the pass, dumps it off to Amir. Amir's still open, going. Has some open space ahead of him. Gets to about the original line of scrimmage and not much more. So Belmont is forced to punt. Fourth and seven for Belmont on their own 45 yard line. Number 90, Jack Townsend, has been doing a great job kicking today for Belmont. Clock's ticking just about over a minute left in this third quarter. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. 
Cambridge almost got to him there. And kicked out of bounds just around the 30 yard line. So Cambridge is gonna take over at their own 29 yard line. With one minute left in this third quarter, first and 10 upcoming. Belmont's defense is playing a great game so far. Both the defensive line and the secondary. Out comes the Cambridge offense. Hand off, Cambridge gets a few yards and not much more. Second and eight. Upcoming. You gotta give credit to both teams for playing during this chilly night. Under a minute left in the third quarter. I'm really hoping to see a big play here. Wide receiver in motion. Takes a snap, fakes the handoff. Bit of a wide, bit of a running back screen there. And is able to pick up the first down and that concludes the third quarter here at Harris Field. Still scoreless, zero to zero. Game between your Bauma Marauders and the Cambridge Falcons. Both teams switch sides of the field. This is almost unheard of. It is still 0-0 after three quarters of gameplay. In the age of the fly high, high flying offense, it's rare to see both teams who are really running the ball. It's first and 10 for Cambridge on their own 42 yard line. So we get ready to start this fourth quarter. Belmont in this game really improved from last week. All three phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. Yeah, I agree with you there, Arm. So both teams are ready to start this fourth quarter. First and 10 upcoming. Cambridge on their own 42 yard line. Running back in motion. Empty backfield. Drops back. Going Throws deep. it deep. And, and caught. Caught by number five. Looked like Casey Regan was about to get it there. Bit of a wrestle for the ball. 
And Cambridge starting to pick up the tempo here. A big play. Cambridge moves inside Belmont's red zone for the first time today. And USC, as we enter the fourth quarter, both teams are going to have a sense of urgency here to get their first points. Yep, the defenses really define the games. Cambridge has a real big shot at scoring right now. QB take. And Belmont read them like a buck. Second and 10. Nice stop by Belmont's D-line. No gain there for Cambridge. Cambridge is lined up. Takes a snap, looking to throw. Rolls out the pocket, pressure getting to him. Fires it. And inches away from the end zone. First and goal coming up for Cambridge here. Picking Number 10, Kamai Green caught that. Picking up the tempo here. Looking to catch Belmont off guard. Can these be the first points of the game? QB sneak. Touchdown, Cambridge. It is good. We have our first points of the game here. 6-0, Cambridge is leading now. With nine minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. Seems to be a big blow with the way that this game's been going so far. So Cambridge is att attempting the point after attempt. Yep, Dante Howard has really been having his way on the Cambridge team for this drive. The kick is high snap. Low kick, but able and to get it to good. go through. And 7 nothing Cambridge here. And on that drive, Cambridge really showed off their passing attack there. Most of this game, they're really running the ball. And now Belmont is on the hot seat here. Just under 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Can Belmont trail back and win? Belmont sets up for the kickoff. We need another 50 yard kick return by Casey Regan if we really want any chance. Cambridge sets up for the kickoff. Belmont's office has been able to move the ball today, but once they get to about the red zone area of Cambridge, they start to stagger. Hopefully they can be able to push through that. So Cambridge is ready to kick it off. Bit of a pop fly. Recovered. Takes an awkward bounce. A backspin and 
It's Cambridge ball. Covered by Cambridge. The bounce just went their way. Kick had a bit of a backspin to it. And that is a big blow for Belmont. This exhausted defense have to go out there again and try to stop Cambridge. And now Cambridge is going to have the opportunity to milk away a lot of time in this game. Expect a lot of run plays. First and 10 coming up for Cambridge on their own 31 yard line. On Belmont's 31 yard line, excuse me. Hand off. Up the He's middle. Still going. Trucks one man, trucks another man. And flag there's a thrown. flag on the play. Flag after the play there. We've gone a couple of those today. The refs are gonna discuss. They're the Cambridge linebacker running back. Able to break through the defensive line. And the flag is on Cambridge. Personal foul Personal on foul. Cambridge. <laughs> 15 yard penalty. Takes away that big run Cambridge had. 9.30 left in this game. First. First and 10 for Cambridge. Clock's rolling here, so Cambridge will take their sweet time. Tick, 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 tick. And a handoff. Hand and Amir oh. in the backfield. Big tackle for loss. Second and 15. Belmont really needed that. As it is second and 15 right now. 8.30 left in this game. Cambridge is content with just taking their time and withering away the time in this game. Second and 15. Cambridge on Belmont's 35 yard line. Flag thrown. False start. Cambridge. And moves them back another five yards. And it's what was a second and 20. What was a second and 15 now goes to a second and 20. Oh, delay a game. Cambridge trying to take off every second they can. Clock's, clock's rolling. Quarterback Scrambling. rolls out. Looking downfield. Belmont's getting him. Throws it. Man, wide open downfield. Number 15. Nice tackle by Andre Shivushi, number six, but defense. the defense fully left open that man. Defensive line got to him. Wasn't able to bring him down. Looks like the coverage forgot a man there. And first and 10 for Cambridge. Inside Belmont's red zone again. And in the second half, Cambridge has completely dominated the time of possession. They're having these long, sustained offensive drives, not letting Belmont's offense even have a chance at putting some points on the board. 
Seven minutes left in this fourth quarter. And they are in Belmont's own 20 yard line. First and 10 on Belmont's 18. Hand off. Up the Still middle. Going. Broke a couple of tackles there. And they got the first down. First and goal. Cambridge on Belmont's nine yard line. They are dangerously close to Belmont's own end zone. It feels like one more touchdown could put this game out of reach for Belmont. Another handoff for Cambridge. QB takes it, broke a couple of tackles and Cambridge inching closer and closer. Second and goal now. Belmont had, did have a great first three quarters in defense, but as the game went on, they did start to get tired and they let in some mistakes. Second and goal, Cambridge on Belmont's four yard line now. We are now under just about five minutes left in this fourth quarter. Belmont's D-line is gonna really have to square up and stop this run. Fakes the handoff, looks at the end zone, incomplete. Third and goal now upcoming. Third and goal. And luckily for Belmont, the clock stops just under five minutes now in this fourth quarter. Cambridge regroups. Third and goal. Cambridge on Belmont's four yard line. Let's see what head coach Roy Howard has in plan. Running back toss. And it is good. Touchdown Cambridge. Second touchdown of the day. So it is 13 to nothing now. <laughs> Running back toss. He had the angle, took it. With four minutes, 50 seconds left, Belmont's offense has a tall task ahead of them. This Cambridge attends the PAT. Kick is up. And it, it is, is good. good. It is 14-0 no. with just under five minutes left of the fourth quarter. And now Belmont's gonna have to push the ball down the field. Belmont's offensive game plan today has been setting the tempo. And now they can't because so little time left in this game. They're really gonna have to start pushing the ball down the field, throwing it a lot. Yeah, they really need to make some very big plays right here. First, Bowen has to secure this kickoff. They cannot allow what happened last time to happen again. Yeah, I agree with you there. Bowen on ready, Cambridge getting ready.
Bit of a squib caught. kick there, caught by number 84, Ryan O'Burns. And a flag at the end of the play. Some activity at the end of that play. Looked like Cambridge was hoping that Belmont would muff that kick again. But Ryan O'Burns was ready for that. And there was a flag at the end of that play. Belmont has some great field position. It looks like the flag's on Belmont. They caught the kick at the 45, and it looks like they're going to have to be moved back. Unnecessary roughness at the end of that play. And Belmont now has to start at their own 30-yard line. First and 10 for Belmont on their own 30-yard line. The odds are not in their favor. Hand off, Amir. Stop for a gain of four. Tick, 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 tick. Time is coming off the clock here. Beaumont's gonna need to pick up the tempo. Second, I think that, second and seven upcoming. I think that Belmont needs to have some more blockers in their, in their runs. As the running back is always running solo. Bowman here. They got to take some chances. They got to really start airing the ball down the field. Yep, as there's not much time left. We're approaching the four minute mark in this fourth quarter. Belmont down two scores. Another handoff to Amir. Tries Still to bounce going. it outside. Still going. And he rumbles yards. and stumbles down the field to the 50 yard line. First down for Belmont. Tick, tick, tick. Belmont's starting to pick up the tempo a little. Another handoff to Amir and is stopped at about the line of scrimmage. Now we're approaching the three minute mark in the fourth quarter. And another flag at the end of the play. Two flags. These teams are starting to get fiery. <laughs> Looks like the flag may be on Belmont. Number 23, Patrick McKinnon is going in as running back for Amir. And flags on both teams offset. I'll be really happy if Belmont at least scores one touchdown today. Three minutes left in this fourth quarter. Belmont at the midfield point. Wide receiver in motion, Andre. Snap, looking to throw, roll out. Goes the other way. Throws it deep. deep. Kyle right. Burns! He's and still, he's still going. going! He's still mm -hmm. going! And a big throw there from Wyatt Sclafani. That catch really hyped up the Belmont crowd. And a big play by Wyatt Scofani. Ryan O'Burns in traffic. Had Cambridge players all around him was still able to catch that. But once again, there are some flags thrown at the end of that play. These teams really don't like each other. Wyatt Scofani did have a couple of great throws so far tonight. About two minutes and 40 seconds left in this game.
Referees deliberating. Just under Refs checking in with Coach Francis Joseph. Just under three minutes left of the fourth and quarter. And a flag on Cambridge, and it's declined. Pass interference there, obviously declined. First down. Belmont's offense is really fired up right now. Belmont in Cambridge's red zone. Time's ticking, two minutes, 30 seconds left in this game. They're in Cambridge's own 15 yard line. Wide receiver in motion. Scrambling. Looks like he's gonna take it himself wide, Sklothani. And forced to run out of bounds. And another flag. A little over two minutes left in this game. Face mask on Cambridge. And that's going to move Belmont oh so close to the Cambridge end zone. Belmont within striking distance. First and goal, Belmont. And we thank you for joining us on this Belmont Media Center production of Belmont High School Football. First and goal. Wide receiver in motion. Hand off wide, look for the end zone. Oh, so Pat close. Pat Ryan O'Burn down the field. Defender makes a great play at the two minute mark of this fourth quarter. Second and goal. Beaumont has put together a great drive so far, hoping they can cash out. Where's your motion? Big hand on Wyatt, gonna take it himself. himself. And is stopped short. Third and goal. Oh, never mind. First and goal, excuse me. Time still ticking, tick, tick, tick. Under a minute 30 left to play in this game. I'm already predicting right now that Belmont's gonna score in this drive. Wyatt, looking for the end zone. Caught! Oh! oh. Incomplete. Cambridge defender makes a lunging dive for the ball. Second and goal for Belmont. At Cambridge's three yard line. One minute left in this game. Wyatt 
One minute left in this game. Second and goal, Belmont on Cambridge's three yard line. And time out, Cambridge. Man, what an ending do we have here. Roy Howard is definitely concerned about how close Belmont is to his own end zone. You guys are very impressed with Belmont's offense. Without a true quarterback, they've been able to hang in this game, move the ball down the field for multiple long drives. Yeah, I agree with you there. Belmont has really been picking up their momentum in the end of the fourth quarter. As this timeout is winding down. Let's see if Wyatt Sclafani can lead his team to a touchdown. Second and goal. One minute left in this game. Sclafani, empty backfield. McKinnon in motion. Looks like he's uh, Rolls he's out to the pocket. Looking, looking, looking. Oh. Throws it down. Touchdown. Touchdown. Andre Chavushian. And it looks like we have ourselves a game. Belmont six, Cambridge 14. Just under a minute left in this game. Belmont. Let's see what Belmont's head coach will decide. Either the extra point or the two point conversion. And after this extra point attempt, Beaumont's going to have to kick an onside kick if they want any chance of winning this game. Looks like Belmont's going for two here. Wide receiver in motion. Sofani rolls out the pocket, looking! Caught! Casey Regan! Two point conversion. Eight to 14 Belmont. Belmont's crowd is getting fired up right now. And they have a chance. They have a chance. It's all up to Jack Townsend and this onside kick. Yeah. Belmont has had some troubles this year with their special teams unit. Hopefully they can come through in this big moment. The crowd is getting loud, egging on their team. Minute left in this game. 56 seconds left. And out comes the special teams unit. And Belmont has fought in this game. It all comes down to this. One moment, one kick. Can Belmont recover this onside kick? Cambridge it all defense comes down to this. Looks also tired right now. Both teams exhausted, given everything. Onside kick, and it is recovered. This Cambridge is going to seal this game up. And a little bit of pushing and shoving between both teams. as Cambridge is going to wither down this last 55 seconds.
Belmont today has played a great game, much improved, both sides of the ball. You gotta give it up for Wise Kavani, not a quarterback, came into this game, put the team on his back, almost got it done. And a flag on the play. Five yard penalty there. First and 15 coming up. Fifty six seconds left in this game. Oh, and it's fumbled. Oh, that Super could have been close. dangerous for Cambridge. They fall on it. Clock is winding down right now. Belmont not going to take a timeout. Belmont will play it out to the very last second. Clock's winding down. Just under 20 seconds now. Cambridge in the victory formation. Belmont's gonna look to bounce back next week at Westford Academy. And join us on October 5th for the next home game where Belmont takes on Winchester. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Have everyone. a great night. <laughs>